Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing another closet declutter organization video. We just did my filming room closet, and today we are going to be tackling my linen closet. Now, this is more than a linen closet. This is like the closet that's right next to my main bathroom. And we just have a bunch of stuff in here, like toothbrushes, first aid, shampoos, Bath and Body Works candles, toilet paper, Q-tips, Kleenex, dog stuff, nail stuff. So we have a bunch of stuff in here and this closet has been driving me kind of insane for quite a while now. And I knew that I really wanted to get this organized and have a place for everything. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video today. Here are the before shots of this closet. Now it doesn't look horrible, but it is actually very unorganized. So I have two trash bags here. One one is for trash and the other one is for donations and I'll get to that in a second so first I'm gonna be taking some towels out of my closet and these are actually the ones I'm gonna be donating so I am a dog groomer and we could always use more towels and we always take towels as donations because for the daycare dogs the boarding dogs the grooming dogs towels are always much needed so I'm gonna be taking some towels that I don't really use and donating them so that is what I am doing there next I'm gonna take out these boxes this video is kind of all over the place so I'm sorry we're kind of rushing through this but we're taking out some boxes we're taking stuff out of the closet uh, here is where I keep all of my hand towels and washcloths and I'm just going through these and seeing which ones I can donate and which ones I want to keep just trying to minimize as many towels as I have because I used to do dog grooming out of my house so I used to use all of these towels on a more regular basis but since I started working more at the grooming salon I really don't need all of these towels so I figured I would just donate some of them and just keep and organize the ones that I want to keep so that's just what I'm doing here going through all of my hand towels these little black paw print ones I got these from my mom I don't know where she got them from but they're very cute so I'm definitely gonna hang on to those and I'm just keeping them all in this little basket uh, along with some washcloths so they are easily accessible right next to the bathroom And here's what they look like all rolled up and tucked in there looking all nice and cute and organized now those boxes that you saw me take out of the closet this is actually and I totally forgot about these but this is where I keep all of my clip-in hair extensions I used to be a die-hard clip-in hair extension person I always used to wear clip-ins and apparently this is where I've been keeping them all so Basically, I'm going through all of my clip-ins and deciding which ones I want to keep, which ones are ratty and old and need to retire. Uh, I have a lot of like colored ones, like ombre ones, which I really miss. Like, I can't believe I've gone this long without wearing them. I really missed them. So I'm just kind of going through those, uh, picking out the ones I want to keep, not keep, and then I'm just kind of brushing through them and getting them all nice and organized in their little boxes. So I went from four boxes down to three, and that's just where I'm gonna keep all my, you know, colorful ombre hair extensions. So the next time I leave the house, which to be perfectly honest, who the hell knows when that's gonna be, uh, they will be there and they will be all brushed out and ready. So yeah, I, this was a cool little find. I totally forgot that I had all these cool extensions just hanging out in my closet. And then once they were all brushed out and organized, here are just the three boxes. So it has the colored ones and then just my plain black ones. Those are all ready to go. Now we can tackle the most disastrous shelf in this closet. And that is this, just all of this, okay? 
So to help keep me organized, I went on Amazon and I found a pack of six of these really cute gray kind of wicker looking baskets. I made two orders, so I have a total of 12 baskets. They're really cute, they're the perfect size. They will fit in my closet perfectly and I'll be able to store things in there and label them so I know where everything is and everything has a place. And along with that, I also got these little label makers with a chalk marker. So that way, once everything's done, I can label them and we will be organized to the nines. Here we go. So we're just going to take everything off of the shelf and just put it on the floor and go from there and just start organizing things that way. I have a lot of stuff. Uh, that's one thing that you guys should probably know about me is when I go to the store, and I buy stuff. I purchase things like I'm preparing for the apocalypse, okay? I make sure I have duplicates of everything. I make sure I have enough of everything because I don't ever want to run out. That just sounds like a nightmare to me. So I have a lot of stuff and Basically, I'm just going through each item, getting rid of things that are expired or empty or things that I just do not use. Uh, for instance, I have two of these blood sugar monitors and I know one of them doesn't work anymore. So I'm trying to decide which one doesn't work so I can throw it away and keep the new one. Uh, I just, I have so much stuff just in here that I didn't even know that I had. So this just really needed to be organized really badly. And then I'm just kind of putting things in categories like first aid, cold and flu, shampoos, toothpaste, you know, stuff like that. So I'm just going through and kind of taking things out of boxes and I'm starting to put them in little containers so that way everything has a place and everything that involves one area for example, the tooth oral care can go in one basket. The first aid can go in one basket, if that makes sense. Uh, so we have, as you can see, quite a bit of piles here that we need to go through. So for example, I am putting all of the oral care stuff in this guy. Now, by the time the end of the video shows up, I do transfer all of this stuff into a gray basket. I already had this white basket in there, uh, but I did transfer everything into a gray one so it would match better. But this is where I'm gonna put like my retainer cleaner, dental tools, toothpaste, floss, extra toothbrushes, my electric toothbrush charger, all that stuff. This basket is where I'm keeping all of my extra shampoos and body washes and soaps. So once I run out in the shower, I can go to my closet and I can grab a new body wash or a new shampoo or a new razor or some baby wipes or whatever I need. So I'm just putting all of the extra showered stuff in this one. And the next one, this is going to be all first aid. So this is where I keep alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, gauze, uh, band-aids, earplugs, uh, blood sugar or blood, yeah, blood sugar stuff. Uh, this one is cold and flu. So I'm putting this huge bag of cough drops in here with some Vicks VapoRub and some saline stuff. And then this one. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing, but I have nothing to hide. All of my girls and women out there who have a heavy flow, you can totally relate to me when it comes to this, but this is where I'm organizing all of my period stuff, all of my pads and my tampons. I have to load up on very heavy duty pads because unfortunately I am someone who has a very heavy flow. So uh, I'm putting all of my overnight pads in one basket and then my smaller pads in here along with all of my tampons. So that way when it's that time of the month, I don't have to worry. I know I have more than enough and I can just go in my closet and grab them. Or if anyone comes over and they need something, I have plenty. So that's just what I'm doing here. It required two baskets for these puppies because uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff there. <laughs> I know like so many people are like, who wears pads anymore? Um, us girls who have a heavy flow, okay? 
And this one is where I am keeping lotions. So I have uh, like some aloe vera, sunscreen, coconut oil, my extra stash of tattoo oil. And as you can see from this clip, look at how nice everything looks so organized in their own little baskets. This was so satisfying. Sometimes just taking stuff and putting it in a labeled basket makes a world of difference, okay? It's so freaking nice. I'm so glad I did this. This is so satisfying to watch back. So now before I start putting stuff back on the shelves, I'm just gonna go through the rest of my towels and kind of fold them up, get them all nice and neat and just put them here. So the white, gray, and other colored ones, these are the ones that I use for my dogs. Uh, when I give them baths or when I groom them at home, uh, I will use those towels. And then the darker towels that you see on the shelf below it, those are the towels that me and my boyfriend use when we shower. So we have our own towels and the dogs have their own towels. That's just, you know, what I like to do. Everyone has their own towels. There's no confusion about it. And now it is time to start putting stuff on the shelves. Now, I kind of went back and forth on where I wanted to put things. So I'm doing first aid, cold and flu, um, lotions. And then on the second shelf, I'm doing oral care, uh, extras, period stuff, and then just putting some Kleenex and stuff there. Moving on to the second to last shelf is where I keep all of my candles. I am a huge Bath & Body Works candle shopper. Uh, I also got one of these little baskets to put all of my plugins and candle holders and stuff like that so that way they have a place and just organizing my candles next to each other so I can easily look in there and grab what I need. And then next to the candles I am putting my toilet paper. I always stock up on toilet paper. I don't ever want to run out. And yes, I, I have black toilet paper. And then moving on to the very bottom part, this is where I keep all of my nail care, nail polishes, acrylic nail stuff, nail supplies. Uh, I've always kept them in these little like stacked shelves and that's where I'm gonna continue to keep them. I didn't wanna move everything to the gray holders because these just work out so well. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going through all of my nail polishes again and doing another really quick declutter. I did do a full nail polish declutter less than a year ago on my channel but I figured it was time to do a quick other little declutter and just go through and get some of get rid of some of the polishes that I don't need or use anymore and then I'm just putting all of my glue on stick on nails in here I always do my nails at home I never ever 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 go to the salon I do everything myself so that's why I have so many nail supplies and polishes and glue on nails and stuff like that so I'm just keeping all of those in there along with the nail polishes that I have decided to keep. Any nail polish that either looks really bad or smells really bad is what I got rid of. Or if I have duplicates that I'm not going to go through uh, or are really old, I got rid of. And I'm just organizing them all through here. And just kind of going by brand. So like OPI, Sinful Colors, Hollow Taco, Madam Glam. Just organizing it that way. And then the top drawer after I throw away all of this nail polish. This is where I keep all of my nail supplies. So nail polish remover, cuticle cutters, uh, gel polish lamps, extra tips, nail files, toe separators. Like this is just where all of the nail supply stuff goes. So for this one, this one was pretty easy to do. I uh, put all of my nail tips in there and the nail files in there. Just got rid of some nail files that weren't exactly doing the job anymore. And boom, now everything is in there and organized and we can get rid of all of the trash. Now, this cute little wicker basket that's in the shape of a dog bone, this is where I keep all of my dog grooming at home supplies. So shampoos, face wash, um, I have some lube with a thermometer for my dogs if I need to check their temperature. I have their toothbrushes, their toothpaste, some leave-in conditioner sprays. I also have some doggy diapers in there for Jackal when he's a little incontinent. 
I just keep all of the dog grooming stuff in here so that way when it is bath time I know where all of their toothbrushes and shampoos are all of that stuff now the very very top drawer of this closet is where I keep cleaning supplies uh, I found some skincare stuff up there, which I totally forgot I had, so I'm going to be moving that down to the other drawers, and I'm just going to be keeping cleaning supplies, buckets for when I need to clean the tub, stuff like that, uh, putting the skincare stuff in the closet so that way I can actually see it and use it. Now comes the fun part. Now that everything is in their basket, now we can play with these really cool label stickers and I can label all of the baskets, which I'm so excited about. So we get quite a lot of stickers in here, so I had more than enough to label everything that I needed to. So once I finally got the chalk marker to work, uh, you basically have to shake it and, you know, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get it to work after a while, but... Once we got there, I started making all of the labels, and then once I had those all done, I just started sticking them on the little baskets. So nail polish, nail supplies, cleaning supplies, lotions, first aid, teeth care, um, basically making labels for all of the baskets that I organized. And here I am putting all of the stickers on. They don't really stick that great to these baskets. I didn't really think about that, but it's not like I'm going to be moving these. So I tried to just stick them on the best I could, and I think they will stay no problem, honestly. And then once that is all done, look at how... Great, this looks so satisfying. And the best part is look at this huge bag of trash. This is all stuff that we got rid of, like old medications, boxes, just junk. And we turned it into this. Look how beautiful and satisfying this looks. Everything has a place, everything has a basket. I don't have to go searching through stuff or looking behind stuff or moving stuff out of the way or taking stuff out because now everything is labeled. I know where everything is and I don't have a bunch of extra crap I don't need. Everything is labeled. Oh my gosh, this is just, this is exactly how I envisioned it to look and the fact that I was able to pull it off, two thumbs up, 10 out of 10. And then just to remind you guys, here is what the before looked like. Uh, you know, again, not too bad, but very unorganized. So we went from this to this. Oh my God, it looks so freaking good. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. You guys will have to let me know down below what you think of this organization video. Do you like the way I did things? Do you like the way I organized things? Sound off down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go down and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And again, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!